While promising young NRL player was allegedly attacked, an artisan fell from roof of a two-story house. Elaborated the moment he jumped among roofs and tried to escape alleged hammer. 39-year-old Jay King took a stand in local court of Wollongong and first saw that dragons jumped on windshield of Nissan Navara, which was parked on Nature Lane opposite M1 Fifth Family House. The 21-year-old boy shouts you don't know who you are. Junior M1's lawyers say that their clients are Miss Doe. However, for M1, lawyers say that King misled their high-profile customers as the man in question. The police claim that father of St. George Illawarra, father of game founder, followed Talatau M1 up to a staircase in Roof King and that his cousin Dean West was repaired. King said his senior son, O.C. and leapt 1.5 meters to a roof adjacent King. He says he was followed by a young man who uses a claw hammer. I was going back on the roof area. He made the hammer like a Cherokee Indian. Just coming towards me, the King fell out of the protrusion hit a unit of air conditioning as he went down. Two broken hands were taken to Wollongong Hospital with nerve damage and broken ribs on the right hip. After being released from hospital, King's cousin Dean West presented him a photo of NRL star that he found online. And couple claimed that he was same person allegedly attacked King. It was as if we had seen a ghost. King King said on Friday. For Junior M1. Barrister John Korn argued man in question was not a high-profile client that tradesmen and had. Wrong person asked police did not have a passage ceremony. He claimed that the King and the West were Junior M1 with a secret agreement among themselves. He also claimed that King shouted M1 Senior I will send 20 bicycles from your home. And questions asked in the court about whether King was a member of Black Ulan's outlaw motorcycle group.